legs and head and shoulders and cells and blue and all this stuff, but they don't understand what's going on. If you look at market profile, it'll tell you exactly what's going on in a market. Nothing is random. The position is held under 4132 here. When the market goes above 4132, people are trapped short underneath. They are now bid to cover at 4138. Very simple. So you know where the shorts are bid to cover. Today, right now, in real time, we're trading 4144 as the market is selling off down towards that 4137 area. Those prints are valid and they're going to be tested in about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Should I, should I show? Wait. Yeah. Yeah. If, show them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we are here. Remember, first, okay, the other thing, first, people, this is our first webinar. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's not going to be real Hollywood at first. Okay. Don't worry. We'll get better with the screen movement and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, don't worry. We'll be Hollywood soon. Okay. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So now you know that the market is now trading 41.43 on the ES, right? If you can bring us up to real time, right? We're trading 41.43. Right? Should, be, should, be, should be here. Right. I am on E. Should be working. You might have to refresh your chart or something because it's, yeah. right? So let's get to the questions now, and I'll, um, I'll I'll go through that while you get the charts together. See, you can see the real price moving forty one forty three. You probably don't have you just don't have ETH clicked on, right? That's all. Yeah, that's all. Right. right. That that's all. Okay. That's all. Yeah. So, let's get to the questions. All right. I mean, uh, I have got some questions uh, collected from the community already. Um, we can go through them one by one. Sure. Sure. It's uh, just a second. Put this up. And so, remember the questions that you showed me before that people wanted answers to, right? Yeah. Those are the questions. Essentially. Okay, cool. Beautiful. The okay. questions I've always got is, you know, what the hell is market profile? And uh, why are okay. we not looking at candlesticks and only numbers? Um, okay. Like, the like candlesticks are, the numbers are actually candlesticks. Okay. Market profile is like taking a half hour candlestick chart and opening it up to see what's inside of it, right? That way you can tell where the buyers and where the sellers are inside the candle. Pretty cool, huh? Yep. Market profile is a way of organizing the transactions in a market. Now, a candle chart does the same thing, but market profile is like looking at a, at a, a market under an electron microscope versus looking at it under a magnifying glass, if that makes sense, Yep. right? Right. We've got, I'm sure we've got some biochemists and microbiologists in the crowd, right? <laughs> right? Hopefully. <laughs> right. I'm sure we right. do. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's, it's being able to look at another level of detail for a retail trader is immensely helpful because the more detail you have about the transactions that are taking place in a market, guess what? The better trades you can take because you actually are informed and you're informed with the right information. You're not looking for some weird gamma thing or some crazy thing. You you need to know where to put your trade, where to put your stop and where your exit is and where your target is. If you know those things, your risk is defined on a trade so you don't just go trading anything, right? What you do is also you work on one trade setup, right? One trade that you're really, really good at doing and you do it over and over and over again, right? You know, first we teach you what to look for, right? And how to look at it and then what to ignore, right? And you recognize it over and over again. You build up a sample size. Then you learn how to execute. Then step four is you learn only to engage when the market, you know, in the market when you see the business doing what you have prepared for all right so finding a balance zone right if you expand the chart now right expand the chart in, in and go daily right okay right let's go daily. so if you just look at daily candles 
right? You can go and find a balance zone. Now, hang on. Maybe okay. yeah, it moves to okay. no, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Just, just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, just hold still and let the chart fill in. Okay. Now, what I want you to, is there any way that you can give me control of your screen? Mm, yeah. Just like Zoom. Okay. Maybe let's check. Uh, maybe you can uh, can do you want to present maybe you can try uh yeah I, I just i have i have trades going on and stuff like that here so what we'll do is uh let me see if i can right right if you take your if you take your mouse Mm. And you scroll to the bottom of those candles at the beginning of March, right there, right? No, March, March, you're, you're in January, my friend. Take your crosshairs and move them over to March. Where the There you go, okay? See the bottom of those candles? And then the top of them, right, go to the top, right about there, that's a balance zone. No, 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 not there. Down, down, down. Stop, stop, stop. No, no, keep, go to the top of that red candle. Right, the first red candle, the first red candle. Yeah. Okay. So you, there to the bottom of that candle, and if you draw a box, that's a balance zone. Right. I have videos that I'll I'll post those videos, uh, and have you guys come take a look at them. They're on YouTube, right? They're on my YouTube site. What you're looking for is you're looking for a high and low, brother. Can you just keep the chart still for beautiful? There, just stop now. Stop. Um, if what you need to do is you need to find a high and a low. And when the market looks above that high, it has to come back to that low. If it looks below that low, it comes back to that high, right? So what happens is that's a balance zone and then you double it and you double it again. But what market profile does, you could use it on candles, you can do it on market profile, whatever kind of chart you're looking at. But we're here to talk about market profile. So let's get back to the questions, right? Mm -hmm. So market profile organizes the information that a market gives you that allows you to tell where the buying is and where the selling is. So you can get out in front of it because you as a retail trader can't move the market yourself, right? So, uh, yeah, what's the next question? Go ahead. Um, so how do you actually use it in a, a, um, a sample trade or, you know, give us an example. Okay, of, now you're going to have to go, you're going to have to go and look at today's day get there right without okay and expand on today's day in profile so half hour candles beautiful okay okay just a second let it load i'm gonna take away the candlesticks that's all right yeah yeah that yeah go to profile cool Just a second. Yep, here we are. Okay. So how I look at markets is, now this isn't tick by tick, right, of tonight's action, right? Can you make the profile a little bigger? Is that fine? Yeah. Now, I want you to look at this, and when what we do to look is, say if you were building a long position, right? Mm -hmm. Say you were building a long position at 41.49, 41.48, for the trip up to 41.52, right? What you'd do is you'd use the lower letters here. Like, say you were building 10 contracts long between 47 and 49. Your out would be the low of that. You see that letter A? Yeah, the low right there. That's yeah. now depending on how much money you have in your account, how skilled you are as a trader. If you're long ten contracts between forty-seven and forty-nine, right, right. When if you can, right, you if it gets to that A low at forty-six, then you start trimming your position, and your absolute out would be the X low. So you use the lower stops that to tell how much selling there is if you're long. If you're long and it starts taking out lower stops, it tells you to get out of the position. Does that make sense? Yes. Right? That's a way you use it for risk management. 
it's also a way that you can use it to enter a trade. For example, right, when in this D period, if you see how D period you know, opened and it just went into this A level area by three ticks and then rejected, you could put a short on at 4146, put your stop up here at 4148, the D high, and then we'd have different references for the low. And if it takes that W low, you can stay in the short, right? So here, here you're shorting, right? Say you're shorting 46. Your mm -hmm. risk is very tight at 48, 48 quarter. That's a structural stop. If the market can't take out that stop, there's not enough buying and you can stay short, right? Also, we can train you how to look at a market so you know that there's a seller at 46. Because if there's no seller at 46, there's no reason for you to be short 46, yep. right? So if the seller is at 46, you engage 46, 45, three quarter. If it takes out that X low, that means you're still good. That means you can monitor for continuation in the trade, knowing that the market has enough selling to take out that X low. So great, you stay short 46, and then you look at the W low, right down there under 44, right? As a place where you'd cover a little bit, because that's where the shorts are going to cover, right? And you can leave a runner on there and put your stop there. So you stop out in, in profit. So wow. you're using the profile, the, the, the transactions, the structure of the transactions of the business of the market to do business yourself in an intelligent manner. You're not looking at some pattern or some flag or something that's made up. Right. This is actual business transactions. This is there's no BS about this. It's beautiful. It cuts through all the nonsense. And then you can take those concepts and put them on your candle charts, too. Right. Yep. And you use both. And it's a killer combination. Right. OK. Uh, next question. Um, let's see. How do you. How do you so you've covered how do you set up stop losses, take profit levels? How do you uh, use value areas and point of control in market profile to inform your trades? Okay, I'm that one. I'm gonna we're gonna do on the next webinar. Yeah, makes sense. It has so, to do. It, it has, has to do with the volume point of control moving up or moving down, and that tells you if distribution is successful. If the market stays in an area in a tight condensed area, and then moves up out of it and stays above that area for a good amount of time. It means the distribution of the product that's acquired in the cheaper zone is profit, like it's working. The market's, you know, the market's doing what it's supposed to do because what's the objective of a market? The objective of a market is to move inventory, right? Yep. That, that's what we do. We bring our goods to market to sell them, right? It's just here, you don't get to see a rug or a piece of furniture or a car right it's just you know it's it's just an electronic contract it's the same thing someone's selling it to you they bought it much cheaper right and that's a wholesaler so we use the you know, profile tells you where the wholesale element of the market is and that's a wonderful thing by wholesale do you mean uh, in the balance area before the market well no the the, the the by wholesale what i mean is there are people whose job it is to provide liquidity they're called wholesalers. So if you went to go buy a stock and you went to buy 5,000 shares of a stock at $5, right. if there was no such thing as a wholesaler, you would get 100 shares at five, 100 at five and a quarter, 100 at five and a half, maybe 1,000 at six, and you'd still need 4,000 shares. You're not going to get it all at five bucks. Yeah. A wholesaler will have an inventory of that stock that he will sell you the whole 5,000 shares at five. If he does not have the 5,000 shares, he will short it to you because you're a good client and he wants to fill your order. Then he'll go to the bid and try and back, buy it back cheaper, right? right? That is wholesale. That is a huge factor in this US capital markets. 90% of people don't even know it exists. They know market makers are there. They think it's some fearful thing. No, if, if market makers weren't there, it'd be like monkeys with machine guns trying to execute this thing. Price would be all over the place right? Market makers are the absorption of the shock absorbers that allow size traders to accomplish their business without adversely affecting price. They add liquidity, right? So 
profile helps you tell where the wholesalers are buying it mm -hmm. also helps you show where the shorts are being trapped right we're gonna you know this webinar is a great first webinar we're gonna refine this and we're gonna have specific examples set up for you right as we go um you know on the next ones for sd so and and the crew because then you'll be able to see okay this is an example of when um you know shorts are trapped right like at those single prints right if you see our current profile we came down to 4143 the single prints are at 4137 from 13 from the 13th if you look at our 4143 low it put in that low and it moved up off of it why would anybody in in their right mind be buying es at 4144 at 8 30 in the morning new york time because they're short covering oh the shorts okay. are the shorts are trapped under 4138 they're front right. running 4138 and gobbling up what little supply there is underneath 4144. the market profile also tells you the time spent look at these look at these this grouping of letters you've got u to d Look how many letters are above 41, 40, 47. Look at how much, right? There's all the letters are above. Look how much, that means there's so much time spent above 47. Look how little time was spent under 47 and look how little time was spent under 44. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what they call acceptance and rejection. The market went under 44, nobody wanted to sell. So the market went back up looking for a seller, looking for supply. Mm. So that's 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 how this works. And that's how market profile at first, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to hurt your eyes, right? Because you're not going to understand what to look at. It takes a little bit of time, and most people have stayed away from it because of the software. Now you have a, a software advantage where you have this, and I think these guys even have this on, on, on the, you can get it on your phone too, yep. right? which is pretty amazing, right? That was like, I remember when they gave us NASDAQ level two on our cell phone back in 2006, 2005. I still remember it. I had a Blackberry with level two on it and wow. it let me leave the office, right? Because I could move my, I could watch my market makers, right? So this is something I don't recommend mobile trading. Yes, it's a volatile market, but, um, it really helps you understand the market. It helps you understand where the buying is, where the selling is, how to get in and out of trades, where to put your stop, right? Another thing it'll do is it'll tell you where the targets are. So say, for example, you get long, the market gets back over 4148 and you get long. Where's your target? So I want you to just gently scroll up, just gently grab it. and Yeah, keep going. Beautiful. So say you get long here, right? Or if you were long 45 against the D low, against that 43 low, where's your target? Your target is the C high. Go to the ABC, look at the high there. Right there, C, 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 C as in Charlie, there. That's your target. That's where the upper stops are. So if the market can't get to that other stop, upper stop and say you're long 46, 45, 47, and it gets up to 51 and it can't take out 52, 53, get out of your trade, book some profit, and have a nice day. Make sense? Makes sense. Um, when you say uh, take out, uh, is this uh, taking out B, Peter? Taking out C, 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 oh, as in C Charlie. Is. All right. Canuck Charlie, yeah. yeah. Right? That's the first upper stop. B period is the next upper stop. So if it takes out the C period, right, you can stay right. in the trade, and if it takes out B, great. Then you can hold it till the next upper stop, right? Which, you which is how you use half, yeah. Which yeah. this is how you use half hour candles to know where your stops are. This tells you if you're in a trade, right? Am mm -hmm. I going to get to the target? Like I'm long at five dollars and I want to sell at eight, but does this thing have a chance in hell, a snowball's chance in hell of getting to eight? Right? If it gets mm -hmm. to seven and a half, should I just take the money? Right. If you think about it that way in business, it's just very, very easy to keep, you know, on top of things, make profits steadily, make money every day, steady, small amounts.
build it a little bit, build it a little bit, right? And this is how you make money trading for a living. Not like, you know, you're going to look for a Lamborghini the first time, yeah. right? It's how you make money to pay your bills, your phone bill, that sort of thing. <laughs> So, uh, so most of you don't know here, but uh, JJ has been, uh, JJ, you used to work as a market maker or in a market making uh, firm? What I did was, you know when people take companies public, right? Yes. They take companies public and they have founder shares, like they'll have 50, 100 million shares of stock, right? Yep. Yep. My job is to help those people find, the find people to buy it yep. and get out of their stock. Yep. So I, what I did was I created liquidity for people to get liquid so i want you want to turn that 100 million shares into 400 million dollars in cash that's my job right and doing that what i would do is i would work with the market makers right so because when you put an order in at schwab or or whatever banking e-trade whatever you're using that goes to a market maker that market maker calls me because he knows i'm the seller so if somebody puts in an order to buy 50,000 shares, that market maker knows to call me right away to get it instead of somebody else. That way my client gets to sell 50,000 shares, right? I pay that market maker maybe, you know, the stock's a dollar, mm -hmm. right? You know, he shows me a dollar bid. I sell him 50,000 shares at 97 cents. So he makes three cents a share on 50,000 shares for making a 10 second phone call. Right? That's how you pay market makers. You give them order flow, right? That way, the market maker will always call me when he has a buy order. He's coming to JJ, right? And then my client's very happy because my clients go, hey, JJ, what did, this, what did my stock trade today? Traded 5 million shares. How many did we sell? We sold 3 million shares. Good boy. See you tomorrow. Click. That's what I did for a living. Right? It's a very specialized job, right? right. Nobody right. even knows it exists, right? But think about it. If you're paying somebody $1,500, $2,000 every time they call you, they're going to call you a lot. Yeah. Right? So, this yeah. works in the real world, essentially. <laughs> so, if you have inventory and the person who knows uh, you know, whom to get the product from, is and exactly. if you get the product at the right price at the right time, he's always going to call you. Yeah, because and well, even if it's even if it's at the, at the right, it doesn't matter to him what the price is as long as he makes his cut. Yeah, right. As long as he makes that fifteen hundred dollars, he will call me all day, no matter what the price is. Right. Right. It's beautiful. Um, and this happens. And that's what I did. All markets. It's not, uh, just <laughs> happens related. at all markets, right? Yeah. There is something happen. called a there's a, something called an executing trader in all markets. They execute for large, high net worth individuals, hedge mm -hmm. funds, clients. So I was an executing trader, but with a twist because I've taken about 200 companies public in my lifetime and uh, wow. traded, traded out the stock for them. Um, anywhere from, you know, um, pink sheet penny stocks to American Stock Exchange, New York Stock Exchange uh, and NASDAQ. Um, so, yeah, that's 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 my background in 30 years. And, you know, so I've I've traded for all sorts of crazy people, um, you know. Uh, our arms dealers uh you know all sorts of stuff right um you know because where there's you know if there's a hundred million dollars sitting on a table it belongs to the person who picks it up right so that's how these people think right right so right. yeah so now and, what i do is try and teach people how to figure out where the buying is so they can make some money because retail trading is is difficult um it's yeah. it's really difficult because we don't have the resources uh the technology the resources the skill the capital that the people who actually run the market do but there are ways around it if you can trade smart and this software is what i consider um you know i've been trying talking to a bunch of different companies over the last five six years trying to get them to build exactly this product so people could pay um you know a small amount per month get used to the software, get used to seeing, because they need time. They need time to learn how to see it. They need time to execute on it. They need time to learn. And that learning process, if you're charging people $1,500 a month to learn, they're not going to have very much money to trade with. <laughs> right? Absolutely. That's, that's why we keep the cost of our room low. That's why you get 
go charting in our room, you know, we'll teach you how to trade, right? And that way you'll have the time where you don't have to feel that you have to really push it, right? And right. make bad business decisions because you got to make money because God, God, man, this trading room I'm in is 500 a month. My software is 700 a month. Uh, you know, I, I got to make at least that back. Otherwise I'm losing money every month. Here, if you keep your nut under 150 bucks a month, right? And you learn how to trade with the micro, right? Which is the micro, you know, you, you can learn for 20, $30 a day, right? And then once you actually understand what you're doing, you can size up into the E-mini and trade for a living. And to give you an idea, if you make one point on an E-mini, that's $50, yeah. right? So you do that on two points, that's that's a hundred dollars on three contracts. That's three hundred dollars. If you do that trade once every day for twenty days, which is a month's trading, that's six grand a month in revenue. That's almost a, a standard program of Silicon Valley salary, right? That's one trade a day. That's one what they call in New York a piker trade, a yeah. small two point trade that people laugh at. But <laughs> I know plenty of people would die to right who who yeah. who scale that up. Right now, you do that trade three times a day, and it's eighteen thousand dollars a month. Now, it doesn't come automatically, right? There's a ton of you know, of education and blood, sweat, and tears to get there, but it's doable. We have people doing it in our room every day. They come in not knowing what they're doing, and now they're making money, right? Mm -hmm. So it works. You just got to stick with it. One good trade at a time. Yeah, I mean, uh, this leads me right into the next question saying, I mean, this is all good. Um, I see some number letters printed. Um, I'm getting something. I'm not understanding much of it. Where do we start? You know, just come, come see me at microefutures.com. We will take you from knowing nothing to understanding the business, understanding what to look for, and then how to actually engage and execute your trades. So your trades are smart and they make sense. Right. Mm -hmm. So you'll mm -hmm. stop taking, you'll stop making business decisions that actually make absolutely no sense, like shorting when there's no supply or going long when everybody in the world is selling into the market. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, unfortunately, that takes some time. Right. But it's a skill. Right. It's not like I could say, hey, you know, like my girlfriend's an anesthesiologist. Right. She's an MD, PhD. I can't go and say, hey, you know, I'd like to do some brain surgery, make a quick buck. You know, I just read, uh, you know, how to how to perform brain surgery for idiots, and uh, you know, <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> work that way, right? It it's work that way. I think what uh, most people uh, do not uh, treat uh, trading as a high performance uh, game or a job. Uh, it's a it job. Is. There's no there's no game. If anybody thinks it's a game, I've got, I've been to so many funerals um, of people in this business. It's not a game. It's a business. Right. Um, I'll be sharing uh, all the links to JJ's room, uh, his videos. Uh, maybe if you can share with me later on, I'll share them with uh, the rest. I come up with nifty levels, but I haven't actually traded nifty because even though I am Sri Lankan and my mom's from Bangalore, um, or my mom was from Bangalore, I've uh, never traded nifty. I always, you know, I'm, I was raised in north america so i trade u.s markets but uh we can help you with that as well right it's just uh you know structure is structure right and um that's about it i should get going because i got to start a zoom i'm starting yeah, to teach I know. Uh, thank you for yeah, your time. Yes. no problem i go yeah i'm on for two hours starting at nine so uh yeah. Eastern, so. So to all those who are listening jj has a room i'll be sharing his link uh, he has a nifty room in there i think uh, you uh, you were posting some uh, levels over there. I, so. Yeah, but people stopped asking. So uh, if you guys want, just you know, come on by. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe people will start asking again after this call. And if that Perfect. has some enough uh, interest, I hope JJ, you know, uh, share some market profile levels, uh, which will I, I trade using market profile, and my levels are picture to the dot. Uh, people yeah. wonder how do I you know find them, and uh, I laugh. Uh, silently yeah. saying, "Hey, there's no secret sauce. Once you learn this, yeah. and market profile, it's quite amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll. It's like taking off the blindfold. 
Yep. And then, you know, you can use it on candles too. You know, um, the, what you learn on with market profile, you can use on candles. So it's not mutually exclusive. Right. All right, my friend, I am going to hop. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, JJ. You have a good okay. day. Happy trading you today. You too, guys. All right. Good stuff. Trade safe. Bye for now.